everyone, this is Owen with Shift Click Learn, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I programmed an RPG style character to move around the screen using Scratch. So let's hop right into it. Alright, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys the final result. So this is what I'm going to be making if we run the project. You can see that I can move up, down, right, and left, and the costume changes, and it looks just like an RPG game would. Now, obviously, I can't copy this exactly in my replica, but it's going to be something like this. Alright, so I'm just going to go switch over to the blank project, and I'm just going to create a new sprite. I'm going to click this paint button, because I want to make my own. So, I'm just going to zoom in and create my character. So I'm just going to start by drawing a circle and I'm going to click fill and just change the color. So on my other one I had it kind of like a blue color, so something like this. Then I had, I actually had no outline I believe, yes. And then I have two little black eyes that look pretty good. So I'm going to switch to my selection tool, make these a teeny bit bigger. I'm just going to copy and paste them. So, that looks pretty good. But then one last thing I do want to do for the eyes is draw a block over it. And then change the fill to the exact same color as our body. So it looks like he's kind of just like chill looking. Not super excited or anything. So I'm just going to shift click all these and move it down. And kind of adjust it. Okay, so there's one last thing I want to do to the eyes. I want to add a little shade to it to make it look like a shadow under his eye. So I'm just going to kind of get the shape right with a color that's obvious to see. And as you can see, it defaulted to purple. So it's pretty easy to see. Just so we can get the shape right. Then I'll worry about the color. And I'm going to shift click these and push front. And that will make a nice, it will make it go to the front. I'm going to just grab this color and I'm going to push the brightness down. So something like that and I'm just going to kind of adjust it to make it look better. I'm going to edit the nodes, kind of just make it how I want it to look. I'm going to rotate a bit and smooth it out because it doesn't look very smooth. Alright, something like that. And now I'm just going to delete this other eyeball and shift click the shadow and the eyeball. And I'm just going to move it to the right and then push front on this block again and just adjust the eye. So, that looks pretty good. I like the eye shadow. That adds something to it. Now I'm just going to add that little hair at the top. As you can see on our other one, it has like a little sprig on the top, and that kind of makes it look cute. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to click on this line tool. I'm just going to click and drag it up. I'm going to start by drawing the middle one, and I'm going to select that and make the outline bigger because it's much too thin, and change the color to that same one. And then on our other one, it actually is a teeny bit brighter, so I'm going to boost the brightness up like that make it go to back and maybe even make the brightness up a little more like that then I'm gonna edit it by clicking on the node tool and then just editing it lastly I'm going to copy it by holding control C and then control V and I'm just going to edit the nodes for this one too and make a new one and bend it now the ones on the side are also going to be on the back and they are the same color as the head because the front, the middle sprig is actually lighter because it would be up front just to give it realisticness. So kind of like that, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to select all these and I'm just going to move them down because it looks like it's too far out. That looks pretty good. And the last thing for the body. I want to add a little flat portion on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and click here to save the nodes. And then I'm going to push this one up and delete it. So now it kind of flattens it out and then I'm going to adjust it. So that way it's not a perfect circle. 
So that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm now gonna make the different poses. So I'm gonna go up to the costume bar and I'm gonna duplicate this. Now this one would be for the front view of it, of the character going down. The next one I'm gonna draw is the character going up. So this one's actually pretty easy because all you have to do is the back of the head wouldn't have eyes, so you just delete the eyes. And then just to add a realisticness, you don't have to do this, is I'm just gonna change these colors to that color and then change this one to the darker color and make this guy go to back so what that does is basically basically how this one is up front this one's in back now because we switched positions just to add a little bit of realisticness Whoa. sorry I zoomed out on my page and lastly I'm just going to copy this front one again switch this around and make the side view so I'm just going to delete one eyeball like that oh not the square thing and then I'm gonna change this up so if you think about this it's kind of confusing but since this is sticking out and this was the front view then that means this would be pointing towards the camera so that means I would have to do it like this and then make this go to front and this guy like this delete that node and like this it's a teeny bit confusing with the perspective of it but I kind of got used to it it's kind of hard but whoa not like that so it's kind of like it would be pointing towards you so it'd be pretty sharp so that's kind of the three different ones we don't actually have to draw the left one because we can just change the direction so all we need to do is make the right one so we have the for it going down we have it going up and we have it right and left so the last thing I'm going to do is just name these so it makes it easier for us when we're coding. So I'm going to make this front. I'm going to name this guy back. And I'm going to name this guy side. Alright, so I'm done with the costume part. So I'm going to click code right here. And I'm going to pull out a when clicked. Now this code block here all this does is it runs whatever you put under it when you click this go button and that just starts the project so that's pretty simple and now I'm going to pull out a forever loop so it forever checks whatever I'm putting in this loop I'm going to put a if else in it I'm gonna put a couple if else's too actually and then I'm gonna close that off by if so if you notice here there's four of these little hexagon things and what you can do there is you can put stuff in it so you can put different code blocks in there so what this loop is doing is just saying when the project starts it's forever checking if whatever I put in here so for me I'm going to put keys in here so it detects when we push the keys so this one's gonna be up this one's gonna be down this one's gonna be right and this one's going to be left now this is just saying Okay, if the up arrow is pressed, then do whatever we tell it. Otherwise, if the it checks if the down. If that's not true, then it checks the right. And if none of those are true, then it automatically just goes to left arrow. So to actually get the movement, we're going to go to motion. And we're going to change X, or sorry, change Y for the up and down. And change X for the right and left. Okay, so X and Y are basically Y is up. So a positive y would go up, a negative y would go down, and x, a positive x would go right, and a negative x would go left. So for this I'm just going to do 4, so it would move 4 up, and this would be 4 down, and the right arrow would be 4 to the right, and the left arrow would be 4 to the left. So now, so now if we play this project, you can move around. But it doesn't really look really realistic because it just change it stays the same costume so that's what we're gonna do next so in scratch you can actually change these costumes with this code block so if we go to looks we have a bunch of options but the one I'm gonna use is it's the switch costume to so that's these are all our different ones so we have the front costume we have the back costume and we have the side costume so we can switch to all of them now this is really cool so we can do for the up arrow, it would be 
back because it's moving up. So we would do switch costume to back. For the down arrow, it would be front because we're facing it. And then for the right and left, it will be side. So now if we start the project, up, down, right, and left. Now the right and left don't look very good because the direction's not right. So I'm actually going to do when right arrow point in the direction 90. So if you click on this, you can see the direction. So 90 is just right. And negative 90 is left. So once again, if we play it, now it will look really weird so everything else will look good but when you do left it'll like swap upside down now the reason for this is because the rotation the rotation style is not left right it's all around so what left right does is basically rounds it if it's over zero then it'll round to the right and if it's less than zero it'll just automatically make it point left so if we drag this right here and play it again now look it it fits perfectly so now we can do this and that looks excellent so that's one thing you do have to remember and then there's another option you can pick is it's called don't rotate so basically it just makes it where it doesn't rotate no matter what even if you tell the code to point in the left so if you're doing like where you want it to stay the same and turn left and right you want it to be left right rotation so now that looks really good okay so there's a couple last things I want to do the first thing I want to do is I want when the project starts I want the character to go to the very middle now remember the X and Y that's just changing it you can actually set this a specific value by using this go to block so Right now, this is the exact X and Y coordinate of our player, as you can see down here. So if we move, we start the project, and, oh wait, I took it out of the loop. If we start the project, and then stop it, it'll automatically update. So right now, now we're at 32, X 32, and Y negative 64. So what I want is the very middle, which I know is 0, 0. So now if we start, it'll go perfectly in the middle. And the other thing I do want it to do is switch the costume to the front, just so you can see the character. So now, when we start, it looks like it's facing you, and you can still move around. And then if you move over here and start it again, it goes back. So I'm going to save it. And then one last thing I do want to do is make this a little smaller. So you can do this by doing just going in here and shrinking it, but it's kind of hard to get the size the same throughout all the costumes. So, in the looks bar, there's actually a block called set size to. So, in the very beginning of this loop, I'm going to set size to 50%. So, it just sets it to half the size. So, now it's pretty small. And look how cute that looks. That's so cute looking. So, I'm just going to save it and go to full screen. Well, guys, I think that's it. I really like this code because you can really just implement this into any of your games. You can just drag it in and copy this code and you can just plop it in. It's really good for RPG games, which are, if you don't know what that means, it just stands for a role playing game. So it's kind of like a top down game and this would be a really good character for it. It looks pretty good. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to check this video out. Hit the like button and please consider subscribing so that you won't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks again for watching.